Choosing is another way to organize data. And basically what it is, is it's very similar to permutations in that we are selecting a certain number of elements out of a, another set of elements. The difference is, is that order of how we choose things doesn't necessarily matter. So what I have behind me is six pens. Say I want to choose two of them. What choosing does is it doesn't take into account order, it just takes into account the final process. So say I pick orange and then green. We will count that the exact same thing as if I picked green and then orange because in the end I have these two pens, both the orange and the green, in my hand. It doesn't matter which way I pick them up, it just matters the end result. Okay, so the formula for choosing is written two different ways. There is n choose r, which looks very similar to the way that we wrote permutations. And there's also n over r, which in parentheses, which looks very much like a fraction, but without that bar. So there's no fraction bar. You know that it's actually a combination that you're dealing with. And basically the formula for it is n factorial over quantity n minus r factorial over r factorial. And hopefully this looks somewhat similar, familiar to you because n factorial, over, n factorial over n minus r factorial is actually just a permutation. So what we really end up with is the permutation of n and r over r factorial. And what that is again is just the number of different ways to take r elements out of n where the order that they're chosen doesn't matter, it's just the end result that we're concerned with.